Round five of the 2020 season did not disappoint, with great weather allowing all games to go ahead after a widespread washout the week before. On Saturday morning, the entrance took on Canwell in the under-8s Octopus North Division. The entrance applied lots of pressure and showed a persistent style of football. The entrance were able to score six times in the first half, and with only a couple of minutes into the second, they were able to score two more times. A mighty little forward from the entrance and a strong goalie from Canwell were star players in the match and helped contribute to an all-round great game that ended in an incredible 17-0 win to the entrance. Doyle sent vs Berkeley Vale for the women's all-age five comp on Sunday morning, with Berkeley being quick to the attack, while Doyle showing great communication in the opening. Berkeley were able to score early on after some back-and-forth play and add another goal to their tally just before half-time. A few wide balls that missed the mark and some tussles to ground the ball characterised most of the first half. Both teams struggled to keep the ball in the field, meaning that there were plenty of throw-ins to help the game in the second 45. Berkeley were dominant for a good portion of the game, taking more attempts at the goal than their opponents and following through with a third goal to show. In BPL, Kalani took on East Gosford, who appeared to rise to the occasion on their home ground. The Rams were applying decent pressure from the kickoff in a redemption effort following their results in previous rounds. Kalani acted on some early opportunities in the first half that were mostly met by an alert Rams defence, who were starting to prove their place in the competition by making it tough for Kalani, who was still able to sneak a couple of goals past East Gosford. The Rams scored in the wee minutes of the second half to catch Kalani off guard as their control of the ball started to wane. A later goal from Kalani came after breaking down the Rams' defence to round off the game with a 3-1 result to Kalani. In a level pegging game, the Wildcats welcomed Avoka, who upped the ante for round five and confronted the mighty side of Wungara as tough opposition. After some cleanly crafted play, each team was able to dissolve their opponent's defence to carve a break and score. Taking turns in ball control, each side had some missed opportunities that were triggered in the midfield, rendering both squads unable to commit to a winning goal, bringing the final score to a one-all draw. Wyoming and Yumina performed well in what was a close and entertaining match. Wyoming set up some stunning shots while Yumina also ran in some clean balls to meet the net. The final decider and Yumina's eventual undoing was their defence that showed glimpses of hesitation leading to some fumbles that Wyoming were able to act quickly on with one extra goal over the away side. Campbell put up a good fight against the entrance but were ultimately outplayed by the home team who scored two brilliant goals in the first half and matched that same intensity in the second half with some neat shots at the goal. Canwell were able to claim a goal, but only for the entrance to break down their defence five minutes later with another class goal. The entrance continued with tenacity until a final whistle, resulting in a colossal 7-1 win their way. Terrigal ran home a deserved three points at the end of round five, with clear dominance from the outset. Terrigal kicked off the goal scoring with a header and Woiwo bit back ten minutes later after clever midfield play in a levelling effort. In stunning fashion, Terrigal's Anthony Pace put the home side ahead once again with a direct goal from a corner before the squad added another on the cusp of half-time. In the second half, Terrigal was able to split Woiwoi's defence, allowing their ball to find the net twice more before a battling Woiwoi fired back with another goal. With the game almost settled, Terrigal were able to continue their streak with another goal, securing their 6-2 win and their undefeated status in the 2020 competition. Berkeley Vale and Southern and Edelong United delivered a great game of football over the weekend, with each team showing serious promise for final series positions. Berkeley showed more command of the game than Southern as the home team dominated in both defence and forward-focused activity, capitalising on every slight opportunity. Southern's efforts did not go unnoticed as they presented as strong contenders and gave their all throughout the match, especially in the final minutes, although the young side was unable to have a one-up over Berkeley's squad, who snatched a 2-1 win in the end. In the Central Coast Union Bank Women's League, the Rams played the Wildcats in a match that started with equal possession spread across both teams. It was a dynamic game with intermittent and rapid runs and a brilliant save that need be mentioned from East Gosford's goalie who stopped a well-crafted shot from the Wildcats. Two goals from the Rams came off the back of some amazing runs after continuously getting to the ball first and following through. The Wildcats' fast and alert forward, Emma Hurley, was able to slip one past the Rams' defence, bringing the final score to 2-1 in favour of the Rams. And in the mighty clash of the week, top-tier favourites Canwell and Gosford went head-to-head -head in what was a tough contest for either side. 
Gosford were able to take advantage of opportunities and move rapidly past Candle's at times hesitant defence. Gosford's goalkeeper executed some brilliant saves after some excellent shots from the Rovers and were able to score again just before half time. Campbell came back to the game with grit as Hayley Green netted a goal for her team after a brilliant corner delivery. Gosford were able to clap back with another two goals to blow out the score margin and finish the game on a 1 4 win. Kalani started in fine form against Carrion United with two goals in the first 25 minutes of the match. Carrion will not go down without a fight, netting a goal before the first half was through. They kept up the attacking and equalised straight off the bat in the second half with a successful penalty shot and another goal to tilt the game their way. Carrion almost had a win in the bag until Kalani executed a free kick to bring the score to 3 all. Terry will lost their winning way against a nevertheless powerful U minor side after a match mostly dominated by the Eagles. Both teams entered round five sitting on equal points on the league ladder and their match started with possession evenly dispersed and as the game progressed, Uminen demanded more and more control of the ball, helping them to pocket goal after goal against Terrigal, who gave good attempts with one goal just before full time to show, ending the game 4-1 to Uminen. Unfortunately, Tugli were unable to claim two wins in a row after facing the strong southern side, who outsmarted them and took advantage of some midfield passing inaccuracies and monopolised on more opportunities than Tugli did. Southern's forwards were better at getting the first touch while Tugli were slightly slower to the start, which cost them the game in the end and allowed Southern to bag the win.